Hi guys, it's Ben here and I've just arrived in Leicester. It's Leicester versus Liverpool tonight in the Carabao Cup. Uh, I've just had a four hour coach journey from London. It was meant to be two and a half hours, but M1 was closed for a long time. Um, hideous journey, didn't think I was going to even make a kick off, so I'm glad to be here at seven o'clock. 45 minutes to go to a kick off. And uh, yeah, just waiting for my Uber to the grounds. Got to pick up my ticket when I get there. Uh, but I think there's three and a half thousand of us in the way in tonight. I've seen the team. I'm pretty happy with the team. I'm glad Coutinho's playing. I'm glad like say Chamberlain's playing. Although I'm disappointed that he's not playing in midfield. Uh, but I'm just looking forward to a good night of football. Hoping Liverpool can get the win. Excited for this one. Up the Reds. <laughs> Absolute beast of a sausage roll. Red Leicester and sausage. Four quid. Uh, half time, nil nil. Not much to chat about. The Reds fans are in full voice, so can't complain there. Let's try this. <laughs> Sensational. So the clock has ticked past midnight, yes, way past midnight, in Leicester still. Uh, my coach isn't for another couple of hours, so had a few drinks with some mates. Um, yeah, we, we, we had a good time, but just to reflect on the game again, um, fuck! We really have pissed away our chances this season with the dreadful summer we had. Um, it's really unforgivable that we've not brought in a better set. I, I, do you know what, I'm not even going to fucking go into it. What's the point? We, we have this same chat every day on my channel. Oxley Chamberlain was piss poor tonight. Um, so much wrong with our team. So much, so much lacking with our fight, our desire, passion. Um, leadership on that pitch was just not there. <sighs> Four games without a win. Uh, someone said we've had 80 shots in the last three games. Um, only scored three goals. Uh, fucking hell, guys. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Back in the club, because, you know. Time to kill. The more I think about the next fucking three games, rather four games, really. Um, Leicester again, they always fucking beat us. Spot of Moscow away, Newcastle away, then United at home. Uh, season could be well and truly done in about three weeks' time. Fuck my life. So I'm stood here at 2.35am um, in Leicester in the freezing cold, having just watched us lose 2-0. This is what being a Liverpool fan is all about, I suppose. Um, you know, I mean, you guys, some of you guys that watch my channel must get up at 5 a.m., you know, wherever you're watching. And, you know, some of you watch from Australia and America and in Korea. And, uh, you know, I, I know exactly the struggles and 
this is no, this isn't by no means me feeling sorry for myself. But, well, you know, this is something that people that go to every single game, people that fly out to, people that go into Moscow, people that are going to fly out to all the European games that we go to, um, you know, fair play to people that go to every single game. I mean, God, fair play. I mean, honestly, those guys are the best people involved with our club. Um, tonight, I'm just feeling so deflated. Um, it's been a hideous night, hideous performance. You know, I've, I've, I've spoken about it in this video already, but this just feels like the real sort of. This feels like the one. This this feels like the one that really tipped us over the edge. Uh, even though it is only the League Cup, even though it is the reserve side, or, the, or not necessarily our best side. No Mane, Firmino, Salah, uh, Emery Chan, Matip, Mignolet. You know, you carry on as you will. This just feels like it's the rock bottom of being a Liverpool fan. I'm freezing cold at nearly 3am, waiting for my coach. Uh, we've just been battered by Leicester. What can I say? It's part and parcel of being a football fan. I wouldn't change it for the world. Um, I, I love this. I mean, I would not change this for the world. I'm sure a lot of you guys are jealous that I even got to go tonight. You know, A lot of you guys have never been to an away game before. Uh, I know someone that it's, this was his first away game, so uh, it is what it is. It's now 7 a.m., um, just outside my flat, back in London. Coach wasn't quite on time. Uh, same old story from the night, really. Uh, and because I can hardly think straight, I'm going to round this up when I get to bed. Uh, I think I might be a horrible, horrible liar. I'm going to do this when I wake up. Not right now, because it's 7 o'clock. I just got into bed and I, my first words when I got into bed were, oh my God, because I needed it so much. My back's in disarray. I feel like a 50 year old. Ah, I was picking the morning. So here we are, the morning after the night before, or well, the afternoon after the night before anyway, just on the way into work for a half day. Uh, having just slept off the defeat, um, still feeling pretty depressed about the whole thing, to be honest with you. Um, but it is what it is. Um, been to Leicester, <sighs> watched Liverpool play absolutely abject football, 45 minutes uh, after the break, watched Liverpool play some okay football before that, uh, overriding opinion is that we just this squad just isn't good enough, uh, we haven't had a good enough summer and we're being punished for that now, we can go into that on another day. Uh, so I mean just to sort of sum up last night, um, obviously a lot of travel difficulties didn't help, didn't even see kick off. Uh, Thought I was going to. Um, coach was supposed to get into Leicester at 20 past five or half five. Ended up getting in at seven. Uh, Uber took 45 minutes. Had to get out and run and miss the first five minutes or so. But you know, did, probably didn't miss much. Um, again, we you know we dominated first half. It was good. It was okay. Liverpool fans were in full voice. And then went into half time. Had an absolutely sensational uh, sausage and red Leicester roll. God. It, it, uh, do you know what? It's a nine out of ten bit of food that, and that is the best review I've ever given to any uh, any product, any food product at a football game. I think um, even better than the hospitality at Liverpool. I, I think I must have rated that. You know, taking into consideration uh, the price and the ease of it. Even though my hospitality was free at the time, um, it's normally not. So you have to take that into consideration. Uh, pint was good, and then obviously after the game I was with the Redmen TV guys for a bit and uh, did a little interview on there. So. I'll put, I'll put, try and put that in the description if I can remember. And uh, went out for a drink with one of my mates who lives in Leicester and his mate. Stayed behind for a few pints in uh, Firebug in Leicester, uh, which is a decent old place. And had to stick around in there for a little while longer because my coach wasn't until 3 a.m. So I was in there having a couple of solo pints, um, which is never, you know, never the most uh, enjoyable thing. But a couple of people did come up to me and have a chat, which was, which was all right. So I was never bored. And then the coach was a bit late. Uh, it came about 20, 25 past three in the morning. Freezing cold I was for about an hour waiting for it. Um, but look, that's what being a football fan is all about. We play Leicester again on Saturday. Let's hope for a much more positive result. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Um, there'll be lots more of these coming. I've got a lot of Liverpool games lined up. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this one. If, if you did, please subscribe, like, leave a comment with your thoughts on the game, your thoughts on the, you know, the stadium and that if you were there. Um, Leicester fans, you know, if, if any of you guys watching, fair play to you, um, you know, we'll see you Saturday. Uh, 
follow me on my other socials too, as Ben might say, on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. I did do an Instagram live just after the game, so check that out. You've probably still got a few hours if you're watching this when it did come out. Uh, so yeah, guys, see you soon. Cheers.